In the final part of custom objects, we will briefly look at the two final options, stairs and path. And I'll add a new stairs to my floor plans. I select it by left mouse clicking. Then I hold down my left mouse button and drag out and you see the stairs come out. And I can put rotate, position, and if I want to, I can change the width, the depth, the height, and the altitude. Even select a new material or color to that stairs. And stairs is something we're currently working on to add more options such as uh, L-shaped, spiral stairs, and so on. So it's fairly simple at this moment, but we will have an update on that pretty shortly. Then we have, finally, the path option. And path allows me to create a floor path in any shape that I would like. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to start over here by left mouse clicking and I can drag out my first section of the path and then I can left mouse click and move wherever I want it to go. I can make it longer or shorter like this. And if I want to stop, I double click. Afterwards, if I want, I can always hold down my left mouse button on top of the blue notes and readjust the shape. If I want, I can also click on the shape itself and select uh, perhaps a different width and uh, altitude if I want to send it higher or lower up. And finally, materials. So let's pick just a floor mater material here, a standard one. Uh, let's pick a carpet, a gray carpet, and use. If we go into 3D, we'll see what that looks like. Here we go. Here's the path that I just created. Okay, that was the final part showing custom objects.